Hello. Hello. <laughs> Miss Avis, tell me about yourself and your dance company. Okay, well I'm Avis Sauls and I'm the director of Essence Dance Company. Um, I have an interesting testimony. I started dance late when I was 17 years old, but I've been dancing, dancing like, you know, it's been in me since I was a kid. But I did mostly street hip hop and things of that nature. Then I embraced um, a love for concert dance, contemporary, modern, uh, jazz, even ballet. And um, so that's kind of followed me throughout the years when I went to train at Brookhaven. And then I transferred to Texas Christian University as a modern dance major there. And um, after that, I went into straight into instruction of teaching dance um, in high schools and things of that nature, not implementing my first dance program. Um, I had my firstborn son, Jay Sauls the third, and I was not ready to go back into the stream of teaching in schools. So I, that's where Essence Dance was birthed, pretty much close after his birth, because I wanted to do something on my own with that had to do with teaching and artistry and choreography and, and the whole thing. So that's how Essence Dance came about. So right now, Essence Dance goes into different schools and we implement dance programs. Um, for mainly charter schools and private schools or any organization that may want it. Um, what else do we do? We have a professional dance company that we just started uh, last spring. So that's something else. And right now you're here at ISS Dance Intensive, our second one. So. Okay, cool. Um, tell me what, you talked a little bit about um, starting to dance older. Mm -hmm. And I think I told you before, but this blog is all about <laughs> um, falling in love with dance older. Mm -hmm. And I know you know that there are people out there that have been dancing since they were three mm -hmm. <laughs> and are extra professional. Mm -hmm. So what is your advice to people who just woke up at 25 and said, I want to dance? Um, follow your heart. And um, don't don't stray too long on the fact that I've decided so late. That call was probably on you at an earlier age, and you probably allowed fear to block it. So just you know, pat yourself on the back for finally releasing the fear, moving past the fear, and stepping into the reality of I'm a dancer and I'm gonna do this. Um, once you've accepted that reality, yeah, there's some barriers to break down. And um, there's some cha there's some challenges of training and technique and things of that nature. Um, so at that point, you got to scrub up, get ready to go, and do what you have to do. Get in all the technique classes that you can. Um, ballet is a foundation. It is a foundation, so you need to start there, so you can learn your terminology, your vocabulary, and you know how to execute your body and know how to create the lines and things that are necessary for all genres of dance. Um, so, you know, stay heavily involved in that. And I, I said this before, just stay in class as much as you can, expose yourself. I would say if you're an older dancer though, um, be wise as far as know what genres that you are gravitated towards. Ballet should be number one. But some of those other genres that you know you gravitate towards, start looking into classes that may have something to do with those dance genres and start you know, really delving into them, going to master classes, going to intensives, going to dance clinics, doing whatever you can. And then the other thing is, being an older dancer, we have different responsibilities. I mean, it's not mom and dad taking care of us anymore. You know, we're pretty much taking care of ourselves and we have jobs and family and uh, children and husbands and things of that nature. So you have to be wise according to your season. So I would just, you know, hone in the skills that you do have. Too. You know, some people may be in dance ministries, you know, hopefully your dance ministry is pushing you as a technical dancer as well. Um, but don't use it as your, your, your classroom, but it is an opportunity to hone your skill, to hone your craft. Um, do whatever you got to do to look ahead and save money for a master class that you know that's coming up. Or communicate or talk to, reach out to people that may be willing to support you. But, you know, it's, just, it's not going to come without training. You, you have to train. Okay. And that goes for 25, 35, 45, everybody, it right? It goes for everybody. It's, it's not going to just sneak up in your sleep. <laughs> if you want it, you got to go out and get it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And last but not least, um, this blog also tackles just my personal journey mm -hmm. um, as trying to start dancing now at 28. So um, 
you have um, danced with me and taught me a lot. So, and I'm a part of this summer intensive right now. So, what is your advice for me? What do I need to work on? Because um, I'm putting myself out there right. for everybody else to see. Okay. Um, I well, one thing I, I got to watch you a little bit more today, and you know, a, a co-instructor of mine, um, we were talking, and like you said, you pick up so fast and so good when that's that's that when you have that ability you're already so many steps ahead so um i would just for you when you practice in a genre that's out of your comfort zone find a way to still release and let go and delve into the the movement more um as if you were doing a genre that you were really comfortable with I think that's normal for any dancer. You know, we do something that's, that doesn't really work with our body that natural, naturally comes with us. You know, that is the challenge. And so I would say work on that. But I'm seeing your detail grow. Um, I'm seeing a lot of things happen for you. I would say continue to stretch, figuring out how to um, relax those muscles and to really, you know, develop extension and lines. But also begin to accept some of, the, some of your body limits but figuring out how within those boundaries that you can still expand in other ways, if that makes sense. Okay. You know, just in the expression of things and how you express yourself in movement. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. But I love you as a dancer. I don't know why you're so hard on yourself. <laughs> because today was hip-hop. <laughs> <laughs> I am not good at that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I understand. I'm, I haven't done it by myself. But I think this class was, it, it was hip-hop and jazz fused together. So I think this was a great class for you. You did a great job. Okay. Well, I learned a lot. I did. Thank you very much, Miss Avis. Um, if anyone wants to contact you, uh, oh. take any dance classes, yes. how can they do um, that? Um, you can contact me on my mobile, 469-337-7413. Essencedancecompany.com uh, is the website. Or our company email address is essencedancecompany2009 at yahoo.com. And you can reach me either of those ways. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Thank you.